Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. A uh, time for some Hen House. Um, it's been a while since we reviewed a Hen House beer. Hen House, <sighs> Big Chicken, I think is the name of the beer. That beer was absolutely amazing. I love that beer. Um, but they are in Santa Rosa, right? Yep, Santa Rosa, California. Um, and this beer <laughs> is called Stoked. I love that. I use the word stoked in my daily vocabulary. Uh, this is a pretty can, 5.4% alcohol by volume, single hop, pale ale with citra. Loves me some citra hops. Um, Hen House Brewing, uh, this says check the date, canned on August 21st. So time of recording, we are right just a little over a month old. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of my man, Pete. I appreciate you, brother. Let's get into it. We're gonna use our Moxa glass because that's NorCal. NorCal glass for a NorCal beer, why not? <laughs> this thing's got a rooster or, a, yeah, what is that, a rooster? With a bunch of hops on its head, I like it. It's good, good stuff, so. Um, wow, that beer looks awesome. It is light, it is hazy, it looks like hazy lemonade. Uh, half a finger of bright white head. It's pretty like compact bubbles. It's dissipating pretty quick though. Um, but look at that. That's some good haze right there. Looks awesome. Citra hops. Uh, I say this every time I review a citra hop beer. First hop I ever fell in love with. One of my favorite hops still. Let's shove our fat nose in it. Oh, it smells like sweet tangerines. <laughs> Man, that smells good. Even like got over a month in the can. This smells ridiculously explosive and it's only 5%. It is. It's sweet tangerines, a little bit of uh, like grapefruit in there. Um, but I mean, that's really, it's a one note thing. It's Citra. That's what it's offering. <laughs> I can't believe like how candied it smells. It smells really, really good. There's a little bit of like a... Uh, like just a faint bit of like grassiness in there. Um, but this, it does, it smells like sweet tangerine juice. Like if you were to make, you know, tangerine juice and add some water to it to kind of mellow out the sweetness, it's, it's exactly what it smells like. Fucking tangerine candy. Let's taste it, Pete. Cheers. Thank you, sir. And that's what it tastes like. It tastes like tangerine candy. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> it's delicious. Um, it is really, really light, super, super light, um, <clears throat> like prickly. But I mean, this drink so light. Hashtag team low ABV. Yeah. Candy tangerine, a little bit of grapefruit in there. Um, and it does, it offers like a, just a faint little bit of like earthiness, like faint grassy, maybe just a touch of like floral, um, little sweetness on the finish to balance out all, like all that juice aspect of it. But this is, this is super light. It's super dry. Um, I mean, man, you could sit and drink a lot of these, <laughs> I was going to say hundreds, like we don't need to get ridiculous and say hundreds of them, but. Um, this is one of those kind of sessionable beers. I say sessionable because it's 5.2%. Um, it is, <laughs> this is great. I mean, I know I'm not saying much else, you know, than what we're talking about. Like it's, it's a one note thing. It's a single hot beer. Um, and it tastes what it tastes like. And it's fantastic. I mean, that's what it is. There's not much else to say about it. This is really, really good. Um, I mean, you guys up in Santa Rosa, are you drinking this beer? It's funny when I... I've reviewed a couple Hen House beers, I think, and I don't get a whole lot of comments on them. So I don't know if people just don't have like a big access to this. I know Hen House has been ship, uh, shipping beer since the whole um, pandemic started in March, um, but I think you have to buy cases of it at a time. I, I don't think I bought anything from them because I think I looked and you have to you have to commit to a case of beer, which is a lot. Um, but if you're in Northern California in the Santa Rosa area, I know everyone like goes to Russian River and gets their stuff. But I mean, Hen House, this is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the better low ABV beers I've had. It's fucking awesome. We'll leave it at that. You like tangerine juice? You like tangerine candy? You will be stoked on stoked. So that's it, Pete. I appreciate you uh, sending this. This was awesome. I know this was kind of simple and short and whatever, but that's what this beer is. It's fucking, it says what it is and it does what it does. And there you go. So uh, that's stoked from Hen House Brewing. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you
you've had any other hen house beer drop a comment let's talk about it i got a couple more hen house beers to review that pete sent so we will be doing that shortly like in the next five to ten minutes <laughs> i'll see you guys soon cheers Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.